What's up guys, it's Cameron here, back with another video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn those post notifications on so that you don't miss an upload. So I just had a class, it was literally 15 minutes long. She just wanted to explain our final paper, which is one page, super easy, it's just a reflection about our tutoring experience pretty much. So I'm glad I got that done. I normally don't even have class on Mondays, I normally tutor, but tutoring is over. So for the class that I was supposed to tutor for, she had us meet. So that's kind of how this morning went, but I'm happy because it actually got me up so I can get stuff done. I have a lot on my to-do list today. I actually am going to kind of get in depth a little bit about how I write my to-do list. Even though this, this semester is ending, I want to try to continue like keeping my to-do lists throughout winter break. When I was home for the past two weeks, I was not using my to-do list at all. So I want to kind of get back to it. I'm just drinking tea right now in this cute little mug. It has a C on it. And it is 9.20. So I actually just put my Vlogmas day six, day seven video on YouTube. And I just need to make a thumbnail which should take me like not too long and I need to just like do the caption and the title and stuff so I think I'm gonna do that first and then I'll write my to-do list because this I want to have done by 10 and then when I write the to-do list I'm gonna go through it with you guys tell you guys everything I have to do today because I have a pretty busy day it's gonna be super productive so yeah we're gonna get this video uploaded and then I will talk to you guys in a minute okay so fun fact everyone while making my thumbnails I'll just tell you guys this I actually make my thumbnails on my phone I just have tried a lot of different websites on my computer and I found that the ones on my phone just are so much better so I'll tell you guys exactly what I use I'm not the best at making thumbnails I need to get better honestly but pretty much what I do is I send the pictures to my phone that I screenshot from the video or like thumbnails I take whatever and then I put it into Lightroom I fix the lighting of the pictures and then I put them usually like into a collage on photo grid and then from photo grid I take that onto Fonto and I make sure that it fits a 1280 by 720 frame by just like inserting a 1280 by 720 plain image and then adding my thumbnail image and blowing it up so it fits the frame hopefully that makes sense and then i just go along with whatever text i want to put on it if i want to put like cool pictures or like do like an outline i use superimpose x i do have the premium version it was like a few dollars not anything crazy but i haven't actually used that in a while because i've been liking more of like the minimal looking thumbnails i only really use that if i'm doing like a challenge or like something like crazy which i don't do that often like my boyfriend says i say yes to my boyfriend for 24 hours like that kind of thing i like to have it like cool because I feel like that reaches like a different audience and I feel like that thumbnail works better for that but I feel like I like my thumbnails because they're very minimal but I do want to work on my thumbnails more for sure so I usually pick about four pictures to put in my collage sometimes I'll do one picture so I think for this collage I'm gonna pick I picked a picture of my boyfriend's dog of me and my boyfriend looking crazy because we were singing into the camera and then I did a haul so I picked a picture of me holding up one of the items and then I also drove back to Maryland in this picture so I picked a picture of the bridge and now I'm gonna go put all of these into photo grid and then lightroom then fix the lighting and then put the text on it okay guys so that is done with 12 minutes to spare i made the thumbnail i linked the items that i was showing in the video and yeah i did all the stuff that i had to do i'm enjoying my tea still it's still warm so i can check that off my list which now i'm gonna get a little bit into my to-do list for you guys i think i might have mentioned this in a video before but pretty much almost every single night i will use the reminders app that comes with apple products so i have it linked um through icloud with my macbook and my phone so I can honestly use it on both so every single night I will make a to-do list of what I have to do the next morning so I actually made multiple lists over here so I have Monday through Sunday and then I have a weekly goals which I don't use that much I have a to buy to do grocery list ideas for meals for the week and then a Christmas wish list which I don't really use that that's more in my notes that I would use it but pretty much I like it on here so I can just check everything off so I have one for each day and I could just add stuff to whatever day so I already have some I'm like other days of the week but this one is the one I made last night for today because I knew I had a busy day. So you may be wondering, why do I make a separate to-do list the day of with my daily planner <laughs> if I already have my to-do list on the reminders app and that is pretty much because I like to have multiple copies of my to-do list I feel like it just holds me accountable more to get stuff done like I said I haven't really been using the written copy much because I was home and I just I don't know I just wasn't using it but so pretty much what I do is, is I'll transfer the stuff on the online one to here I don't always put every single thing on here just because certain things I feel like it's not necessary to write down because it's like something super quick I can get done that I don't really need to like waste space on here for and then also like kind of 
of depends like throughout the semester I was actually writing the to-do list either like right before my morning class or sometimes like during the first few minutes when the teacher's like doing attendance or whatever I have my class is only 15 minutes so now I'm gonna write the to-do list and I already actually checked a few things off the to-do list online so I won't have to write that on here which includes like finishing the video class making breakfast all that and I add like a lot of details so I add like make this for breakfast do this because it's just like it holds me accountable like it makes me say okay you need to wake up and you need to make a nice nutritious breakfast I don't know that's just how I work like that's just how I've done it um it's a good method for me and it keeps me productive and keeps me motivated I'm gonna get my favorite pens out these are the true red pens I got them from Staples like a year ago and then I'm gonna get some of my zebra midliners out so I'll get like the purple blue some just cute colors the gray oh, the gray one's my favorite usually these are the colors that I pick just because I feel like they're all like very light like pastel colors so we are going to start by writing the date and I'm gonna give you guys a better view of what I'm doing also I have my computer on a stand right now I don't always use this but it's good for your neck if you have a lot of like neck problems from leaning over your computer I got it off Amazon I can link it below I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see exactly what I'm writing but here is a to-do list I'm looking at my computer right now which is next to me so we're gonna start by writing the date right here so today is the 7th of December and then I come over here where it asks you to select the day of the week and I take one of my midliners usually the gray one and I'll just highlight the day it is so I highlight Monday then I have to write something I'm grateful for so I'm going to write say I'm grateful for it being the last week of the semester so then you have a category for must get done today so you can you can write your three main things and then you have a regular to-do list and then an appointment section so for the appointment section i'm not going to write anything because i would have normally wrote like my class times on there and then like if i had meetings but i already went to class so i feel like it's not worth writing i mean i guess i could just write it why not so 9 a.m la 363 and then let's just like take a pink highlighter, highlight the time, and then it was nine to like 9.15, so we'll just do like a little thing. And that was it. Okay, so let's start with the must get done today section. So, so number one is gonna be finish math study guide and make flashcard. Next thing that I need to do is study for my L Ed final, which I also have tomorrow. And then also I'm going to put work on technology resource guide, which is one of my assignments due on Wednesday. And this is an order of importance. The math one is gonna be my most difficult final, so I wanna really focus on finishing that and studying. The L Ed one is gonna be a little bit easier and I also already studied for it yesterday. And then the technology resource guide is last because that's actually due Wednesday, not tomorrow, but I do need to get it done because I have to send it over to a teacher who is working right now to check it for me. So then for my regular to-do list, I'm just going to write film a video. I don't really know which video I'm filming today, but after this, I'm going to do my makeup and film. Then we're going to put edit vlogmas day eight, which I would put under must get done, but I feel like it is finals week, so school does come first. I do plan on getting this done for sure though. And then I just want to vacuum today, which is like very, you know, not, not extremely necessary, but I do want to do it just for like a little peace of mind. And that's it. That's a pretty simple to-do list. Usually sometimes it's really long but today I kept it very very simple and then at the bottom I can track my meals my water intake so I'm just gonna write down my breakfast which was my yogurt so so yeah and then that's all I'm just gonna write for now you can write notes on the side but I'm not gonna okay now that my to-do list is written I got that out of the way I'm just gonna let this sit on my desktop with my gray highlighter out so that and my pen so that when I'm done with stuff I can check things off like that I am going to actually do my makeup and hair right now and I'm gonna go on TikTok live and do it I'm doing my makeup and hair because I want to film a video I want to get that out of the way first and then I'm gonna do some homework I'm gonna do my makeup right now on TikTok live I am filming on my TikTok today so I'm about to take TikTok I think for today's TikTok I'm about to just keep it to a morning routine because it's already super long just from the morning all right I'm live on TikTok right now I have a few people in here and I'm just doing my makeup here they are <laughs> hi guys i'm feeling like so pretty right now i just did my hair and makeup on tiktok live and it was so nice talking to everyone if you ever want to like talk to me log on to my tick log on to my tiktok go over to my tiktok and i go live like a few times a week usually i want to go live more often because i love it you guys really like boost up my confidence and like self-esteem for real because you guys just say the nicest things ever and i just i love it i love everyone who like interacts with me and stuff you guys are amazing i am all ready i'm about to film a video it is 11 like 20 ish and i'm honestly just like having like such a good day right now like i feel so good i'm about to have like a bomb day vlog went up today vlogmas is going on we are just like on a roll like for real i need to light a candle it's mahogany tea good this is the one today if you know me you know this is this is my favorite candle scent from bath and body works 
Here we go. Hey guys, so I just actually filmed a sit down video. I filmed a Christmas gift guide video and a stocking stuffers video and um, I changed into this hoodie, but I'm about to change back into the hoodie that is part of the set with these pants. It is 12.20. I might film another sit down video. I have to kind of just look at my list and see what I have. But yeah, I want to make lunch in a few minutes though because I'm hungry, so. I'm back in the kitchen. All right, I'm gonna make a sandwich for lunch because I'm hungry. Let's get it. Plate. Bread. Turkey and cheese and lettuce. Okay, here's my bread. sitting in my living room and I'm doing homework. I just sat with my roommates for like an hour and ate lunch and we just like talked or whatever. So I'm in my living room um, studying. I'm about to actually get on a Zoom call because my friend in my class started like a Zoom call. So I'm gonna like get on it because we're gonna study for our exam. Okay guys, so I just was on Zoom with some of my classmates for like a few hours. I got a lot done. I wrote a whole study guide. I just need to write it out on a flashcard. I feel like I understand a lot of stuff more because we all were like asking each other questions and like going over stuff. But now I'm going to move on to another assignment for a little bit because I've been working on this for too long and I need a little bit of a break and then I'm probably going to edit and then I'm going to try to cook around 5.36. It's 4.30 right now. So I'm going to put the TV on for a little and watch TV while I do work though. I'm just finishing watching The Princess Switch 2 like the second one and i just realized after watching both the first two i don't really like the movies at all okay guys it's time to make dinner it's like almost 6 30 trying to make this very quick because i still have homework to do yay let's get out what we need so i have my chicken i need my broccoli my peppers i usually put eggs in it but i don't have eggs so we're just gonna do rice peppers broccoli chicken and onion and teriyaki sauce all right i'm gonna cut up these veggies and then get going let the chicken defrost a little more all right onions always burn my eyes so much which is normal but you know Chicken's cooking, the peppers and onions are all sauteed, and then the broccoli is boiling. Okay, I mixed everything in with the chicken and I put more teriyaki sauce. This is the teriyaki sauce I'm using. I got it at Sprouts, just a gluten-free teriyaki sauce. Actually, it might be from Trader Joe's. I don't know, one of those. And then in here is onions, peppers, broccoli, and chicken. I just used chicken tenderloins and I cut them up. I'm kind of just mixing it so that the broccoli breaks down. And then the water is just boiling for my rice. I'm using brown rice. Okay. 
Okay, the food came out pretty good, but I got full really fast. I was also kind of nervous because last time I ate stir fry, I got a really bad stomach ache. And I honestly think it was the meat because it was like chicken thighs. Not that I have a problem with chicken thighs, but I think that it was just super fatty. And yeah, but I'm going to clean the dishes right now. So since I last talked to you guys, I vacuumed. I just worked more on a homework assignment. Now it's like 8.30, I think. The things I have to do still for the night, I wanna write out the flashcard for my exam, which I'm gonna do next. I just need to actually finish vacuuming my room because I stopped for a second because I needed to finish an assignment real quick. And then I'm gonna edit. I'm pretty good for my my second final tomorrow because I have a final tomorrow at 8 a.m. and then another final at 2 p.m. But the one at 2 p.m. like I feel confident on and also like I can study for it tomorrow morning. I have like hours in between but I need to get a vlogmas video up so I'm gonna do that and I think I'll be good. I'm honestly not stressed like I feel pretty good about everything. I think because I've been working all day and I've just been like really productive today. Vacuuming is the best thing ever. Literally, I feel amazing after I vacuum. When your teacher says you can put one note card, you have to put it really small. Okay, so I just finished writing the note card and I'm just gonna study a little bit more, but I'm just eating a strawberry, well, I'm about to eat a strawberry um, fruit bar. I wanted something sweet, so I went for a healthier alternative. I was gonna eat Oreos, but I ate some earlier today already, so. And yes, I bite right into it. Call me crazy. It's funny because my front teeth aren't sensitive. I can literally bite into ice cream or ice pop, but my back teeth are sensitive. So when I chew it in the back, it's like so cold. All right, guys. So I'm back in my room. I just finished the first rough cut of my video. It's currently 10:30. I want to try to get to sleep by 12, 12:30 because my final is at eight tomorrow. I'm probably just gonna like roll out of bed, and take the final because normally like I'm not used to waking up to be ready by eight. Like usually I wake up at eight. Pretty much. I think I'm gonna end the video off here all i'm gonna do for the rest of the night is take a shower do my skincare come back in my room and get in bed and finish editing and study in bed like i said i want to try to go to sleep by 12 12 30 probably 12 30 but hopefully no later than that because i want to do well tomorrow in the final and i really can't be tired tomorrow because i have a lot to get done thank you guys so much for coming along this day with me i hope it was somewhat entertaining even though i was literally in the house all day i feel like it was a very productive day i feel amazing today i got so much done like i can check off so much stuff off my to-do list i'm trying so hard not to stress for finals because honestly at this time tomorrow night i will be almost done i do have two assignments to finish tomorrow but i'm not stressing because i know i'm gonna get it done like regardless of what happens it's gonna get done and like so is my vlogmas content because i am so motivated and determined that like it's gonna happen and that's why like i'm just trying not to stress because i believe in myself enough to know that like i will do what i have to do and make it happen and i think that is a really good mindset that I probably should have had this entire semester but I didn't take that advice if you're taking finals because it's all gonna get done you're gonna do fine don't stress so I'm pretty much gonna close out the video here I really hope that you guys enjoyed as I said I will be vlogging more and more people have been really liking the vlogs lately I'm loving all the positive feedback I got so many nice comments today from people and reading them just like made me so happy I responded to all of them it warms my heart you guys are amazing I love you all so so much I'm rambling on like crazy I don't want to stop talking to you guys. I'm sad. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.